With an estimated 500,000 new cases annually, drug-resistant tuberculosis continues to spread. Worryingly, direct transmission is now responsible for a third of new cases in some East European countries. A patient with tuberculosis can transmit the disease to around 10 people in a year. And if it's multi-drug resistant, these resistances will also be passed on. So you can see why it's a problem and why we have to find a fast and adapted response. This patient is suffering from a particularly acute form of the disease, extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis. He was treated, but there were multiple side effects, and the disease showed no signs of regressing. I can't hear anymore. I can't hear at all in this ear, and only vaguely in this one. But I'm taking the new treatment and I feel better. I'm less worried. If I continue this treatment, I'll be fine. This new treatment is a combination of drugs that includes bedaquiline. Clinical trials on this new anti-TB drug have not yet been completed, but initial results are promising and have made way for compassionate use of the drug. Only 250 patients in the world are receiving it, patients who have failed treatment and for whom there is no other option available. 26 people in Armenia are already on this treatment. While it is too early to judge how effective it is, some are already showing signs of significant improvement. But using this new drug solely as a last resort is not the answer. MSF considers it essential that research efforts be stepped up to develop as quickly as possible more effective and less toxic drug combinations.